2017 Squire Bullet Mustang. Um, and these have just arrived in the UK. And this is Imperial Blue. Um, it's actually a really nice kind of metallic blue. I can see just there, I've still got the plastic on the uh, pit guard. Um, now, normally when uh, anyone says a bullet Mustang, I think of Steve McQueen and his uh, iconic vehicle from the 60s. Uh, but now we've got a Squire bullet Mustang. Now, this is interesting. I've always told everyone to avoid any Squire with a black logo like that, because it normally means they're going to be shit. Um, and this is the bottom of the range Squire Mustang. Um, but actually, this isn't shit. So this is a cheap budget guitar. Um, in the UK, it goes for £115 currently, which is uh, incredibly cheap. cheap. Um, you know, they're obviously making these in the Far East. This particular one is made in Indonesia, I believe, uh, which is uh, actually really good. I've got a Squire 6, the six string bass made in Indonesia, and that is fantastic quality. So this is the uh, back of the neck. Now, uh, if I was to score certain aspects of this guitar uh, out of 10, um, in terms of looks, um, I'd probably put that as an eight. Um, fantastic, um, I think it looks really, really good. Value for money, 10 out of 10, for 115 pounds to make a guitar that looks and feels as good as this, this does for a budget guitar, you can't complain. Playability, I'd give it a six, you know, certainly if it was uh, higher quality, they spent a lot more time on it, it, it would play much nicer, but you know, you can't complain. Um, the sound that comes out of it, yeah, I'd give it a seven to be honest, um, considering it's, it's all cheap parts, cheap pickups. Um, it sounded pretty good, I thought. Uh, and in terms of the hardware, the tuners, the um, bridge, all that sort of stuff, I'd probably give it six. Now, just to show you the edge of the frets um, for the price, I thought this was gonna be absolutely appalling. I thought the neck was gonna be terrible when it arrived, um, but actually, these are really good um, for a budget guitar. You can't complain at that. Um, you know, you could easily file that down yourself if you wanted to take it a little bit smoother. But from the factory, they're certainly fine. They're not rubbing. There's no sharp spots. Um, perfectly fine. It actually, is a, it's a really nice thin neck. Uh, and I've actually measured it on my uh, little device I've got here. So on the 12th fret, the uh, width of the neck is coming out just over 20 millimeters. Um, so that's pretty thin, uh, it's pretty good going. Now I thought it'd be interesting to compare what's probably the bottom of the range Squire offset, which is the Mustang, certainly in terms of price, to the top of the range, uh, which is the J Maskis Jazzmaster, the uh, guitar in gold there. So um, I mentioned about the frets. So this is the J Maskis, um, that's the fret work on the side there. Everyone who plays the uh, J Maskis around the world thinks the necks are absolutely fantastic. Obviously they're, they're jumbo frets, but when you compare that, to the Mustang, they're pretty similar. Um, so, you know, not bad, not bad at all. And then just in terms of the uh, neck, I think the Mustang was about 20 mil. Uh, I've just done the same for the Jazzmaster, which is 23. So the Mustang is actually a, a thinner neck, um, obviously shorter scale, so uh, much easier to play. <laughs>